Hi, Helen from crystalsandcrochet.com here. In this video tutorial, I want to show you how to make perfect picots. Okay, here, let me just zoom in a weeny bit. Here we've got picots made just on a little edging with single crochets. So with these, you wouldn't work into them at all. They would be like the edging of a border. And here we've got picots made at the top of trebles. That's US terms. So these picots you might want to work into on another round. And very often with traditionally made picots, it's very difficult to get your hook in to the pico, but you can see how easily I did that. Okay, it just goes straight in to the middle of the pico, and your picots sit very, very evenly and they don't force your stitches apart, which can sometimes happen. Okay, so let me show you. I've got lots of little sample pieces, so I'm going to show you lots of different ways of doing this. Okay, so these picots are made my perfect pico way. This one is made as a traditional pico, and you can see how much it slants over to the side, so it doesn't actually sit straight on top of the little triangle here. Okay, okay. so you're going to chain three, and normally you would work into this very first chain here, okay, which makes it quite difficult, the same as this one, to work into that pico and to find the center of it later on. Okay, so, oops, tangled, twisted, let me get straight, there we go. So, chain three, but then what you're going to do, rather than coming into that first chain, you're going to come through the front loop of the stitch, but down from the top. And then into the loop at the top of the stitch. Okay, let me just take that out and show you again. So here's the top two loops on the stitch. There's the back loop, there's the front loop. Then if we look at the post of the stitch, there will always be this bit at the top here, above the last piece that crosses over. So it depends what length of stitch you've done. These are just double crochets, so you're only going to have one going across. If you've got a treble, you're going to have two pieces going across. So then you would go into this bit here. Okay. So we're going to come down through the top, through the front loop, and then through that loop at the top of the post of the stitch. So you've got three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all of them and there's your pico. Okay, so if I just do another couple of stitches in here, then you can see what we look like. Okay, so this is our perfect pico, and this is our normal pico, and you can see how much that slants over to the side and how that sits nice and straight and how easy it is to just pop your hook straight in to the middle if you need to work into that pico in a row further on. Okay, so let me just show you with all the different stitch sizes. Okay, so here we've got a pico on a single, a half double, a double and a treble. Okay, and as you can see, they're all sitting 
perfectly straight. Okay, so I'm just going to show you on each of the stitches so that you can see exactly where you need to put your hook to make that slip stitch. Okay, so let's start with a double crochet. So we've made our double crochet and we're going to chain three. We're going to come down through the top of the stitch and you can see that that last part of the post of the stitch here is right in line for you to pop your hook straight through both of those loops. Yarn over and pull through. If I do a normal double crochet then you can see how straight that sits on the top. Exactly the same thing will apply with a treble, it's just slightly taller. So it's that very last loop at the top of the treble there, front loop and that last little part of the post that you're going to go straight through. Okay, so let me make a couple of half double crochets. and then we can see a picot on top of a half double crochet. Okay, so again chain three. Straight down into that top loop and through this loop here at the top of the post of the half double. Over and through all three. Let me just move on a couple of stitches <clears throat> and again you can see there's your pico and it's very very easy to get straight in to that loop should you want to work further on to that. Okay so let's move straight on to a single crochet size Again, we're going to chain three. And this time with a single crochet, we've only got this part here of the post of the stitch, because there's almost no post with a single crochet. So again, straight down through the front loop, through that loop of the, on the post of the stitch, yarn over and pull through all three loops and oops, I pull that through so you can see on a single crochet we've only got that one little loop there that we can work through on a half double crochet we've got that extra loop at the top and then at the double crochet, again, we've got that extra little loop there on the post of the stitch that we can work through. So to make a perfect pico, you are going to go through the front, you're going to chain three, then go down through the front loop of the stitch and through the top loop on the post of the stitch or well, with a single, the only loop you've got on the post of the stitch, and then make a slip stitch through both of those loops, and that will hold your pico perfectly rounded and flat, and it will stop it drifting off to one side. Little idea I was playing with earlier um, that I am going to use somewhere in a pattern is when you're making a pico on a chain. Okay, so with these I've literally just done a chain three, pico, chain three and single crocheted. So this again would make a, a lovely sort of mini bobble or mini pom-pom border that you could use on something. Okay, and with this one <clears throat> 
I'm going to chain three. Okay, now this time we've only got chains, so we have to make a picot in the more traditional way. So I'm just going to put my thumbnail on that one because that's the one I want to move into work into. So then I'm going to chain three more. And then I'm going to come back into that chain, but make sure that I go through the loop on the front of the chain and the back bump. So I've only got one loop on this side of my hook and I've got two loops on this side of my hook. Yarn over and make your slip stitch and then chain three more. Oops, no, skip five and then into that one. Okay. So again, when you're making a pico into a chain, have two loops on the side of your hook where you're going to come through and yarn over, have two loops on that side and only one on the other. That way it will keep your pico much straighter and more even. So if you're left handed, all you're going to do is go in the other way, you're going to have two loops on this side where you're going to make your slip stitch. Okay, so that is how we make perfect picots. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.